good day everyone i'm joshua v atok and for today's video i will be presenting to you how to use my excel program to generate a design for a re reinforced concrete rectangular beam yes using wsd and usd method so here i will be presenting first the wsd or the working stress design method under sheet 1 na siya. So, for me to elaborate and to explain it properly, I have prepared a problem here to solve for our ano, design or to generate a design of a rectangular beam. So, the problem states that using the working stress design, design a rectangular beam for a 3 meter simple span to support a uniform live load of 50 kN per meter and a dead load of 30 kN per meter including the estimated beam weight so use fc prime is equal to 27.6 megapascal fs is equal to 276 megapascal and a value of 8 for our modular ratio, diameter of steel bar is 16 millimeters, and assume B or the width is equal to the one half of our effective depth. So here it is being stated as a note that input values in the number of in the no fill seal. So it is preparing to this one. So here in the input values we are tasked to comply for the value of, of our live loads dead loads and length of the beam so the program i the problem rather give us the, gives us the value of our rectangular beam of 3 meters and live loads of 50 kilonewton per meter and a 30 kilonewton per meter of a dead load so we input the value here respectively 50 for live load 30 for dead loads and 3 for the length of the beam 3 meters here the sum load it will sum the value for our live loads and dead loads and by the use of the formula w times l squared over 8 it will give us the value for our m max which is our goal in here is in this part is to compute for the m maximum and after getting the value for our m max we then we then proceed to finding the WSD constant which includes the K constant and the J constant for so to solve for K constant we are required to comply the value of our FC prime to solve for our FC FS and modular ratio so the value for our FC prime is this one 27.6 MPA for FS 276 and 8 for the modular ratio. So 27.6 and 276 and 8 for our modular ratio. So it gives us the value for our FC which is equal to 12.42 MPA and for our K constant of 0 0.265. And it gives us also the value for our J which is 0 0.912 which is just the difference of 1 to one third of the value of k then proceed here it since we are given with the with the enough value to solve for our effective depth so m is equal to the 90 90 m max to the power of i uh, know i times 10 to the power of 6 and cc times j and through manipulating the formula since by the way this the excel i haven't found a way to solve for a cube root so this is how i did it so to get the effective depth is just uh, no, the cube root of the ratio of m is and cc times j to get the cube root i just powered the ratio to the power of 1 over 3 which gives me the value of 493.376 since the value is 493.376 it's not a divisible by 2 and take note that our approximation in the output value of the effective depth must be divisible by 2 
So, I assume the value of 496 since the depth is 496 and it is being stated the prob to the problem that in the problem that assume the value of b is equal to the one half of the effective depth and here it will give us the value of 4 248 which is the half of 496 and here it gives us the value of our effective depth and the base then let's solve for the area of our steel bar so our problem gives us the value of 16 millimeters to use for our diameter of steel bar so let's just input the value of 16 and it will give us the value of as equal to the 201.1 and to solve for the value of our you know, number of steel bars we are just going to use the moment of area about the neutral axis which is this formula it is being introduced naman po by our very own sir engineer Dario Kalake this this formula so it will just give you you will just I, I will I've just manipulated it to give me the value to provide me the value for our number of bars which is this one it is just the ratio of these two since I've noticed that when you equate this formula to the number of bars it is just equivalent to the ratio of this formula and here since the value is I know Nasha decimal places no so I've come up with an idea to round up it for to zero decimal places so it will give us a whole number value of number of bars and with that here is our final dimension or design of our rectangular reinforced concrete beam. This is the effective depth, the width, and the number of bars and its area. So, in continuation with this tutorial video on how to use this program, let's proceed to the USD method or the ultimate strength design method in generating a design of a rectangular our reinforced concrete rectangular beam so for me to elaborate again using this usd method i uh, by the way this excel program used is used or designed to solve for a 2010 uh, or 2015 specification and now let's proceed so let's use this problem in situation one let's analyze so design a singly reinforced beam rectangular reinforced rectangular beam rather for flexural to carry a factored loads shown which is this one so we got the value of fc prime is equal to 28 mpa for our fy of 415 mpa and for our raw equal is equal to 0 0.18 FC prime over FY to control the deflection and use NLCP code 2015 which is yeah, what we've designed for so first let's input the values here same goes kanina let's input all the values given for our uniform uniform live Live load gives us value of 12 point I 24 kilonewton and 12. So for a live load is 24 and dead load of 12 kilonewton per meter. The length of the beam is 6 meters and for the point load for dead load is 18 and 36 for live load. So our live load is 36 and 18 for the dead load. Let's verify first. Yeah, that's correct. So for our steel strength, which is the FY, is being given a manpod, which is 415 MPa. So 415 megapascal. And for our strength, compressive strength, which is FC prime, 
we've got 28 MPa. And noticed here our computed values, it gives us the ultimate point, pointed load, not in point load. Let's start PU. And for our uniform load, or, or the ultimate uniform load is equals to 52.8 kN per kN meter. And for the reaction of 198 kN and moment at support 217.8 and moment at mid span this one and the steel ratio na. ang rho max ay rho b or steel ratio b is 0 0.0288 and the steel ratio max and the steel ratio minimum and beta or the section factor since our condition gives us a value of anuman for our C28 or much I'd say is the compressive strength it gives us the the value is ano, equal to the value of 28 so let's use the value of 0 0.85 for our section factor for the M constant it gives us 17.43697 and here notice that it is being it is still unknown here for our row for or still ratio at support and still ratio at mid span because we need to find first the value of our height and for the effective depth i am in mean here the fee let's use 0 0.90 because the value of fee it is much preferable to use ano the value of 0 0.9 to gain tension control why because in in it it is much safer for the compression to fail first than the tension and for our effective depth for tow 3 and the AB or the area at support and area at mid span so here goes so for our width for the results value, let's proceed for the results value. For in determining the beam dimension, we've got the B, which I've assumed is 300. Yes, this is an assumption. I've assumed the value of the B as 300, and it gives us the value for our effective depth of one of negative 62. Why negative 62.5? Because it needs the value first of our height and height is just equal to the effective depth here plus the E and E is equal to 40 plus 10 plus 12.5 since the value of our height is 485.592 and it is not a whole number and we have a note here for safer design try to assume higher value than the outcome so since the value is 485, I've assumed the value for our height as 500 to give us a whole number value. And here, it gives us already the allowable still ratio for support and still ratio for mid-span. And the value for our new effective depth is equal to 437.5 now. The, it is the difference of the height to the value of our E. And next, since we are given naman with the value for our B and the effective depth, depth let's proceed to find the ano, dimensions here for our support and the mid-span section. So, here in our support, the computation for our flexural, flexural steel, we've got the area value for area of 1477.8978 square meter millimeter rather and for our mid span of 902.2701 square millimeter and for our diameter of bar <coughs> excuse me for our diameter of bar i've used i've assumed the value of 25 and here notice that we have a condition if our this value for spacing is less than the value of our the uh, greater than the value of our diameter it is okay so 
our assumption here is correct and here after getting the value for diameter of bar it will give us the value for our numbers of bars then the number of bars for design here I've used I've rounded out I've set this set or given of number of bars to the zero decimal place and at mid span section naman our area of steel is I've assumed the value again of 25 which it's okay and it gives us the value of 74 which is okay hence we, it gives us the value for the number of bars of 1.8390 since the value is have is decimal places so dili man tamag assume of uh, half lang na uh, ano number of bars man, one and half pa dali dili pwede so gina round up na ko siya into zero decimal places which gives us the value of 2 and this is our final design and that's all uh, thank you